Welcome to ECU Flash Training Part 15. In this video, we're going to take a look at working with our MyVec tuning on our EVO 9 applications. We're going to find that the MyVec adjustments are going to be allowing us to have improvements in our engine's volumetric efficiency as well as the turbocharger spool characteristics. There's going to be all kinds of advantages to using our MyVec, but we have to understand how to adjust it properly. So we're going to take a look in this video at the tables to adjust, the idea behind the MyVec operation and how it functions and it works, what we need to pay attention to in data logs when we're making our adjustments so we know when we're making a MyVec adjustment if it's going to be a positive or a negative gain in horsepower and torque. There's going to be a lot to cover, so let's jump into this video so we can check it out. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to be talking about working with our MyVec and our EVO 9 applications. Before we jump in and take a look at the actual tables uh, that we have to adjust in our raw metadata here for our MyVec specific tuning, I want to talk about the general operation of MyVec, of what we're actually going to be accomplishing by moving our MyVec values around and uh, the, the, the benefit of the actual MyVec system. So if we're looking at an EVO 8 engine, we're going to have no MyVec equipped on that engine. And we'll find that the cams and the cam gears are going to be fixed, unless we have adjustable cam gears and we can move them around a bit. But we'll find that the overlap is going to be fixed. Now the overlap is going to be the point where we have both intake and exhaust valves open. It promotes cross flow or cylinder filling that can improve the torque and horsepower of the engine. Now we'll find at low and mid engine RPM, we're going to find that we have, uh, if we have more overlap, Generally speaking, we're going to find that it's going to produce more torque and horsepower. If we have too much overlap on the top end, that can actually start to lose horsepower. So the camshaft profile and the camshaft design and the cam, cam gear adjustments are going to be essentially keeping that overlap kind of as a balancing point so we can have the best of both. We don't want to have uh, really, really great low and mid-engine RPM performance, but really poor lackluster top end performance and vice versa. We don't want to go and have um, really great top end and lose mid range and low end. So it's kind of a compromise on an EVO 8 engine as we're making cam gear adjustments. Sometimes we can gain overall uh, jumps by moving our overlap around a bit, but we're not going to be able to have the best of both worlds where we can have really great low and mid range and really great top end as well and kind of have a best broad torque band um, of the engine operation. So that's where the MyVec comes into play on an EVO 9 engine it's going to allow us to dynamically adjust the overlap as the engine's running. And we can do it based on engine RPM and engine load. So it's going to be a huge, huge advantage for dialing our engine in and getting more efficiency out of the engine. So the way the MyVec system is going to work is going to be oil pressure driven. We're going to have an oil pressure solenoid that's going to be mounted in the block. That's going to be allowing more or less oil pressure through the block, up into the cylinder head, up into the MyVec cam gear. The MyVec cam gear, if it's having low or very, very minimal oil pressure, it's going to be at the zero position or no amount of advance or movement. That's going to be the lowest amount of overlap. If the solenoid is allowed to flow uh, more oil pressure, and if it's flowing the most it can flow through up into the cylinder head, we're going to find that the MyVec cam gear is going to be rotating to full advance. Now, full advance on the MyVec system is 28.8 degrees, so that's the most it can rotate. That's the most amount of overlap. And depending on what we're going to be doing as far as what we're controlling mechanically, uh, or virtually, I should say, and controlling the engine mechanically, we're going to be giving the a target. So we're going to tell it to move, and then it's going to be looking at the actual movement of the camshaft compared to our target, and then constantly adjusting that MyVec solenoid to regulate the oil pressure to achieve the results that we'd like. So it's actually a very, very consistent and simplistic system, and we don't really have to do a whole lot of programming on our end other than requesting a certain amount of advance in our target MyVec table. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here, and you don't want to miss any of the videos are going to be releasing on this channel, so make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.